What is up ladies and gentlemen, Seabass with Waterfy here and today we're going to be taking a look at the vertigo effect. So the vertigo effect is known by a couple other names, uh, the Hitchcock zoom or the Zolly. Um, this was because of Alfred Hitchcock's famous movie Vertigo back in the 1950s where he popularized this effect. Uh, as per the moniker of the name. Um, basically what you do is you either move your camera in body forward or backwards while zooming in in the opposite direction, creating a sort of almost like a stressed out look in your footage. Now this can be pretty difficult because to really achieve this perfectly, you're going to need a dolly. And dollies can go for hundreds of dollars for at least a decent quality one. So. I found a way to do this pretty simply in post-production uh, just to eliminate the uh, you know financial burdens. So let's take a quick look now. So here we have our subject. This is just a long hallway that I decided to choose in my apartment. And uh, for this one, we're just going to go for a smooth camera motion forward. Uh, you can do backwards, just depends on what you're going for. And this can be done either handheld or with a dolly or with a gimbal, whatever works for you. But if it's too shaky, you're going to want to apply a warp stabilizer in post but more on that soon. So let's jump right in. So now we're in post here. So what you wanna do first thing is apply that warp stabilizer I was talking about. Even if your shot is pretty smooth, adding a touch of the warp stabilizer can be can add a great uh, surreal effect to your footage. Uh, so you're gonna to wanna to drop it onto it. And I already did this actually, but just in case it's gonna be under your distort, you can also type it in, uh, if I could type. Stabilizer. I was trying to type destabilizer. Right under here, under distort, your warp stabilizer. I already dragged it on just so I can do the apply effect um, and the, the analyze, which is the longest part just to cut that out of the video. Uh, so once that's done, it's already analyzed, you're going to go down here to your advanced settings. If you can apply this, you're going to apply the detailed analysis. Now, if you do apply this, be warned, it will add a crop possibly to your footage and make it look really uh, just small and then when you do enlarge it, it the quality is going to suffer so we'll use that sparingly but if you can use it definitely do but definitely going to go down here to your rolling shutter and you're going to set that to enhanced reduction and while that stabilizes there we go and then you're going to apply your smoothness as you see fit this is just really just to um, just enhance the footage and you know as much as it needs for your footage so I'm going to set mine up to about 90% because I wasn't totally smooth here and uh, what we got fairly smooth footage so it's also a short clip uh, just so I can uh, try and make that you know vertigo effect as evident as possible but once you're done applying your warp stabilizer effect you're going to want to nest it and I don't know the shortcut key so we're gonna go down here to nest and I'm just gonna time save that's the sequence one so that way when you do apply other effects to it it's not going to affect the warp stabilizer because that only can take so much uh, so with that click on it and now we're going to use our old friend keyframes that's right they're gonna play a big part in this so that's actually gonna be the primary way we're going to achieve this effect so moving forward here all you're going to do is add a keyframe here, and since we're moving forward, you're going to want it to be zoomed in. I'm thinking at 300%. Yeah, uh, my quality is going to suffer a bit. You're going to see this film grain, but it's just for the sake of the uh, tutorial here. So once that's at 300%, if it's going backwards, by the way, um, you're going to want to set it opposite. So if you're moving backwards in your camera, you're going to want to start your first keyframe at 100 um, standard rather than what mine is, which is moving forward. It's at zoomed in. So move to the end of your clip add another keyframe and then make it your standard 100% and uh, yeah there we go uh, yeah and obviously it's going to be opposite for your backwards movement so pretty much just flip-flop the settings of each keyframe so backwards it would be first keyframe three uh, 100 and last keyframe 300 or something or whatever the zoom you choose to have um, and with that honestly that's about it it's a simple zoom transition, but half the work is the in-body camera movement. So, you know, it's a pretty simple effect, 
it adds a really nice little flair and that old style footage that I love so much and also adds some sort of like adds a little bit of suspense and drama almost like uh, you're moving backwards but you're moving forward um, really cool effect use it as much as you want um, and it's gonna look a little something like this And ladies and gentlemen, that's about it. That's all there really is to it. It's a pretty simple effect. And, uh, you know, I really hope you guys are able to utilize it well and enjoy it. And, uh, you know, if you did learn something or you did enjoy the video, drop a like. Always appreciated. And uh, definitely make sure to subscribe for more future tutorials and other cinematics and uh, just other videography content. And uh, as always, as always, oh wait, one second. As always. Hashtag it vlogified. Peace.